Well, it seems to me that Microsoft just, you know, they just shot themselves in the foot with the show. Um, the only couple of bright, bright spots, well, so-called bright spots, is, you know, Microsoft now has um, shown that they're going to be having an, an open to any developers. But in otherwise, um, I don't think that Microsoft even mentioned um, about VR, the uh, DRM is situation with the customers and the, and the show. Um, Microsoft have not revealed that about the um, Xbox One without the Kinect um, being at a lower price here. Um, because... Um, <laughs> But hey, we're gonna give you a, we're gonna give you a um, we're gonna give you this gay um, this exclusive game here here for 499 euros or 429 pounds here. I'm mean, you kidding me? 429 pounds for a bundle of you know, uh, Call of Duty, um, uh, Ghost with those exclusive content. I mean, <laughs> what the hell? But Microsoft basically blew it. Um, Microsoft has failed to, you know, address the DRM fiasco issue. I don't think they even addressed the issue of not have, having to, not having to have a uh, connect on uh, camera here. And um, it's just basically just. A th I mean. Um, and I thought it was just, oh, a part of a show when... No, it was an entire show with 35 minutes here. Oh, we're going to have Fable, you should get in the PC. Um, then they showed... Um, it was just basically Fable, um, Call of Duty Ghosts. Uh, they showed another game. Uh, I forget what's it. I just forget about what the game was. But uh, whatever the game is, just this so-called exclusive Xbox. But it just turns out to be like you know uh, a gameplay which said this fixed thing uh, behind a character. Uh, though that scares a war. But I hate that amount of gameplay. I mean, I I rather play that game in first person. I mean, that's probably if I want to play the game like that. I mean, it, it's better off gameplay like this. And they showed off this touch screen. Um, like this, but it's just, a, um, I don't know what, the, I don't know what it is, but, you know, the base, the main gameplay is just like Gears of War. Um, and it, it's just that, um, so, so we're going to open it up to any developers, and then there is just, um, connect, uh, um, they, 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 um, did the connect to... Uh, which is the uh, Ubisoft's um, that uh, that fighters uh, fighters game here, which is not even like you know it's in the environment. It's just that you know that they put it into this area and you fight with Connect here. Oh my goodness sakes! Um, and it was like a really brief game here. You fight with Connect here with another person. It didn't even show the environment. So I'm like, what is this here? And um, they show Connect Sports Rivals, which is basically, yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah, I mean, Connect Sport. It's like, you know, Connect Sports again, and just a Call of Duty. It's just, it's just, I don't know what to say in this vid. I don't know what to say in this uh, Microsoft, but that show was just meh. And it's, and, and it's just as, in a nutshell. I mean, Ah, oh, man. That show was, I mean, it was just disappointing right now that they should, that they haven't even showed it here. I mean, a lot of people are still burned. Many people are still burned by the fact about um, the stuff that they're trying to pull at this situation. And it's just no reason that we'll get an Xbox One at the moment for me. Um, I mean, the only thing, the only, and, you know, Project Spark wasn't even in the show. I mean, this is, I mean, you know, um, Project Spark, yeah, I can download on the PC. They even, sh they didn't even show that on the Gamescom 2013 show. 
I think basically that Microsoft, I mean, I'm just very disappointed in this. They didn't even, I mean, they, I, I mean, um, they didn't even touch the DRM fiasco in that point here. Um, did you, I mean, do you hear, did you, um, like, I mean, if you watch the show, did you did you um, have a, po a moment of when Microsoft has mentioned about the DRM fiasco and apologizer like this, a birther like this here, and even promising? No, I, I don't. Um, I don't think I recall seeing that. But man, it's just terrible. <laughs> and I and, and I tried to play it twice, and I just just doesn't even seem appealing to me anymore. But that's what I have to say about Microsoft. I just Microsoft's um, Gamescom press conference. It's just, I mean, I think compared to E3, it's just basically, you know, it's just basically, you know, the same thing except it's even watered down to like a 30-minute show of. Um, it's like a 30 minute show of just oh man fable um old oh okay we're thinking of the developers here fable um a gears of war clone game with maybe a, a couple screens of a touchpad here call of duty ghosts connect sports rivals and that's all I have to say about Gamescom. That's some that sums up Gamescom 2013. <laughs>